I belong to a spiritism group which practice seances. I was very close to the obsessors group. The spirit took over my body and I would be kind of lost. Like I would be talking and suddenly I would be out of focus. At the beginning of our relationship, he was very nervous. Sometimes something happened, it could be something meaningless. He would get so upset and nervous and he would get transformed. It's not really nice, it's even an embarrassing situation. You know, right? I didn't like it very much. I would try and help him every way I possibly could and with the means that I had at that moment. This would affect my work. I wanted to hit my colleagues at work. I wanted to hit my bosses because if someone raised their voice to me, it would be like someone stabbing me right in the chest. It looked like there was somebody else inside of him. And the devil would tell me, go ahead, go ahead, because I am with you. And at the other side, God would tell me, don't believe this. So I thought I was going crazy. When I entered spiritism, I would start talking about a person's life without knowing them. It was something supernatural. And after the seance was over, the person would ask me, how do you know so much about my life? But that was a deception, because the only one who knows about our lives is God. And for me, it seemed like it was I was being so glorious. But no, I was being an ignorant person. And that moment I looked at it and I said, Lord, I don't want this life anymore. Carlos Eduardo resorts to God and he finds the grace of God church. And then I entered here, this door, this door of this church, and I met Pastor Marcus, who was placed there by God at that moment. And he came in, he started talking to me, saying that he needed help. I started counseling him, talking to him. He said he was a spiritism practitioner. He told me how his life was, and I started to talk to him, to counsel him on the Word of God. And also, when I got home, Dr. Suarez was on the television, and any time I turned on the television, you there, you are listening to me. So I say, the faith show is a blessing that God has placed on earth. He started coming in, and God started working, and I was counseling him, attending him, talking to him. God started delivering him, changing his life. And about two months later, he felt he wanted to be baptized. It's time to die for the old man, for the new man to be born. And God today takes care of my being. The calling of becoming a sponsor touches Carlos's heart. Being a sponsor today is not being a sponsor of the grace of God church. It is being a sponsor of the faith that God is giving to everyone on this earth, in this world, and he is using a man like Dr. Suarez. And those who believe without seeing it are those who have faith because talking about God is easy, but following him is difficult. Jesus certainly transforms the lives of those who accept him. The Lord God transformed his life. That nervous and irritable side that he had before, today he doesn't have it anymore. He's able to face the difficulties like uh, with more serenity. I thank God for opening my eyes and I say, Lord, my day is in your hands. He is a good friend of mine. He helps me a lot and he is always there for me. I was in a pool of mire, buried up to my ears. But God said, I will take you out of this someday. That's beautiful, eh, folks? 